leveled everything oh man yeah well what about what about the one you made in the what about the one you made in the tomb can we teleport back to that one i mean not the tomb the one we went to the one we teleported to oh we go back to that one in the gym mine yes of course hey hey it's just you know you know what however there is no food there and no way to get no there but if we made, if we bought food and supplies for you know, for the dwarves that didn't want to go with us, and if Kishar made that portal go there, the dwar- I have a feeling the dwarves would be able to 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 make it from like they they could find at least somewhere defensible. We Are just sent them a along. suggestion. Can we go to the map? Well, we get. I'm saying we're going to have to get food anyway, but. Um, hey, hey, we we need to get move, more food for them. Are you suggesting that we? So, okay, so was the suggestion to teleport them to the mine? We go to hey. Anchorage, clear it out, or we just? No, no, I'm not saying. Mine, and then I'm then not, sit them I'm on not the saying we go with them at all. I'm saying we we get them fed here, right? We get them supplies to to move them along, and then we teleport them into that mine that we came that we teleported to i mean that was already already a, dwar- a dwarven mine wasn't it so uh, this no it was a slave, slave mine before, and we've gotten permission are we wrecking the slave trade oh yeah of course oh, oh yeah but we're still on track for that do it like you know. here's a here you know we know they've been to hawk hammer right which means worm hearts out of the question well Aye. what was they said before or after we cleared it out after after we cleared it out so how does it get captured again the flaming fist came in and took it but after so we f- came through but it's so fortified how did they okay because uh, that's we were talking to the dwarves about it and they they got overran dwarf said that they came from two fronts they came through the back tunnel it's and a kind through of heart the and front ice. Ice. But here's yeah, the thing: but... the the mine we teleported in that was collapsed. Like the entrances and stuff were collapsed, yeah, and the, we, uh, blew, we blew right. a way out. But the sure. problem is the Yanti knows where it is, and the Yanti will eventually go back. Well, there's always they pretty much collapsed it. I'm pretty sure that's just petty bitches at this point. Yeah, that's that's about accurate. Yeah, I don't think yeah. I don't think they'd be returning because but... they're like, oh, we collapsed it. There's no way they're stupid enough to teleport back there and then blow their hole out of there. No, they're too stupid for that. No, all they have to have is people they are willing to dispose of, which are slaves. What to go go there? To or, get what? the mine so, going again. Well, and that can either be the Auntie or it can be the Flaming Fist because they both know the mine. Then what do you suggest we do? Shilku, let's clear it. Shiluna? What the hell Shilku. is a Shilku? <laughs> What is Shilku, Shilku is south of Wormheart. Shilku Bay. And there's a town named Shilku that supposedly had <laughs> salamanders in it. Yeah, but don't say like coast a mountain where like they got lavaed out. I say yeah, it's it's completely lava there. Like the the bay is boiling. Except for where you, you know, guys, to, that, you guys landed like on Shilku that north side. Doesn't exist anymore. Well, oh, it's more like a a, it's, a it's town a that was leveled by the the volcano, but like fire newts and salamanders have like taken residence. It's on the map. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's 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 where the why don't why don't we care? Why Mesro's on we... the map too, but Mesro's not even there. You know what? Here's a better question. Why don't we go to the doors and give them the options? I, that's what I was going to say. Why or don't ask we... them where they want to exactly. go. Exactly. Let's let's go back to the boat and let's talk to them real quick and let's just see what they feel like they let's can get accomplish. Let's the food while we're going. Well, we have food there because we got most of the Well, we yeah, got let's... three months worth of food for us. Now well, you have 33 dwarves. Yeah, but that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. They can eat some food while, while we, you know, 
We they've know, probably and, already started. To, listen, they've probably already started eating. Let's yeah. be honest. They've probably already gone through a good portion of that. But that's fine. I mean, they've got to be fed anyway. So if we just send them along with that supply, right? With all with the supplies that we've got, we can buy more while we're still here in town. Yeah. But let's yeah. But let's okay, have this before conversation we leave, with man. Them. Can I can I ask BB if he knows anything of the outer reaches of Chult, or is he only knowledgeable about the port? I mean, I know I know quite a bit about what's going on here in Chult. If we're talking about Chult, I know pretty yes, much Chult. Uh, there are a few places like Ishal down at Refuge Bay on the eastern side of Cholt? What oh, would yeah. be there now? Um, I think that's just like an empty little uh, seaport. Oh, you know what? That's those little fish frog boys. Kuatoa. Oh, it's a Kuatoa. Isn't that like a god thing that they do or something? They're always doing something weird. Yeah, I feel like that's Do you really... know of anything of the towns around it, like Hisari? <gasps> Boom, guys, I got it. If we're already going to go clear the fort, why don't we just do a little column A, a little column B? Everything you just said cut out. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. I said, oh, you know, we're, we're about to go clear out the fort, so, you know, why don't we do a little column A, a little column B? Hey. We're not taking the dwarves to the fort. They won't, they won't survive that. <laughs> what, being... Owners is a fort? With the no, miners, because isn't it? you know as well as we do that the fist will show up. Ah, fair enough. Um, also, I, also, I sorry is a misprint as far as this map. Uh, we, before you showed up, we were talking about railroading, and Hasari was actually moved over just a little north of Omu. That's where you guys hung out with those goblins, and you opened up the shrine to Moa. And Kashar got glitterified. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, I really need to re-up my glitter. Okay. So it's near a shrine to Moa above Omu? Yep. I'll look at Lyra. Moa's relatively nice. I, please, please, let's not, let's not, let's not open that can of worms right now. And Moa's lawful good. It's not like... Angry I mean, it's, as far as... Protecting your people. I have a feeling there's someone that's going to have something to say about that. Very, very far away. You just hear very angry monkey noises. I, I can feel <laughs> the very angry monkey noises. Yes, I know Wongo, but it's Again, your people. let's go to the dwarves. We have a way to get a lot of them over there onto that side of the island relatively quickly. Hey. And, like, I'm, I, I love you, like Lyra, but again, this isn't really our problem. Um, aye, aye. You know, well, like, and... Listen. like I feel I feel for them, but you know, like I don't want to like spend a whole you know another three months out in the jungle again. I, Just... I understand, and that's not what I'm asking. I'm I'm, li I'm we we need to get these dwarves to where they'll be comfortable, not where they'll be, you know. In, in danger necessarily, but where is that on this on this continent? Right. But yeah. we can't. Uh, yeah, I, I understand. All right, I'll ask one more. Um, what does he know of the area around the cauldron and snapping turtle? Um, Are they pretty devoid of life? But yeah, still the cauldron's have... pretty devoid of life. It's a pretty rough area. Snapping Turtle Bay has just <laughs> a lot of wildlife. No, no uh, settlements or anything. Okay, that might be a possibility too, because at least then they would have access to food, because they can hunt. I mean, there. And if these there's are... These are not. These are not the Cholton. These are the. These are the mining dwarves. You like. These are not the. These not are all of them. Peep. Yeah, there's four of them that aren't my peep. That aren't. That are my people, and that's it. The rest of them are, are mining dwarves. Yeah. 
However, yeah. there's mountains in the area, there's woods in the area, and I'm sure the Chilton doors can teach a few of the mining doors how to set traps and hunt. All right, guys, let's let's finish up our food and drink here, and let's actually go ask them hear what they actually want to go do. Hey. I wanted to feed the puppers. No. We can get you a pupper, Isaac, if that's really what you want. No, I'm sorry, I want Isaac. that stuff in the to game. Feed those those puppers. Puppers. What'd you say, um, Ezek? I'm sorry, I missed that. Yeah, I didn't catch that. Uh, I wanted to feed those puppers. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. They were so nice and well behaved. Well, you can always ask PP like, to come back and face them. I will. Yeah, but, you know, bring your own bowl. That, that sounds like a good idea. I was Don't probably piss off a lich. I was probably going to get us all killed there. Not going to. No, oh, you, you, you were going to get killed. He was going to get you killed. Was gonna not get you. I would have blamed the rest of you. Uh, and we would have probably not been blamed. <laughs> we wouldn't have been inside the door when he killed you. <laughs> We would have heard of, how dare you, a blinding flash of light. We would have turned around and you would have been gone. <laughs> you know, in retrospect, I don't know how I've survived till this point. And it makes sense that the Iwick did die. <laughs> you are much <laughs> like him, yes. Yeah. That's what makes it fun. Alright, off to worship, I suppose, and we're going to ask some pertinent questions. To our dwarven uh, boys. Oh, hey, Frozen. No fireball, I see. Same. He goes, no, but I've been uh, talking to Musha Reeb here. And, uh, Ooh, that call lightning, though. Uh, I guess uh, I had to change things up a little bit. So we practice here, and I think we could keep up with any fleet now, even the Brigandy Arth with... Uh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, Filson has become a storm sorcerer. Nice. <laughs> oh, so no, he would... still does not have fireball, but he is more focused on an area you guys could use on the boat here. Musharib really wanted to cast her with some skills for the ship. So, Wow, I see how it is. No, you have skills for like burning things, and burning things so on a ship what, isn't good. What time is it at the moment? Uh, uh you're probably encroaching upon like probably noonish. Noonish? Because like, yeah, because you guys uh, set out. Nap you guys got on the boat. You guys got on the boat at eight. It was an hour ride there. You we probably, probably spent about twenty to thirty minutes there, uh, plus loading up. So you headed back around ten. We got back at 11. Back. You we went back a, again. Oh, you went back. I forgot. You guys went back again. So yeah, I guess we're looking at 2. 2.30, okay. maybe 3. Did the dwarves make it to the ship? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They way beat us here. No, no. I'm I'm making sure that they yep. got here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why is my token turned, and how do I turn it? Uh, if you that. click it, and you um, hit control, I... and then spin your wheel... Can I go back to uh, the market and get our friend here his hat? Should not have taught us this. He would love that. Amazing. I will be back. You spin me right around, baby. Right what was it again? As I'm leaving. He wants, a, he wants like a, a ship's a, a, like a ship hat, like a pirate hat, even. Hold on a second. You guys uh, said you guys said bowler, but that's <laughs> he'd be happy with any hat, really. Okay, so. Do you want a black hat? Because that would make you a pirate, and we don't want that. All right, so I'll walk up to... Hold on before you go. I'll walk up to Musharib, and I'll trade him a sending stone for his, and then I'll give the single one to... Uh, Eek. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll give the mate to that to Kashar. You... Okay. All right, that's fine. <laughs> I'm more... More than happy to uh, to be friends with the bard. More than happy. Oh, I understand, but you know that way it's not continuous. Fair enough. And you'll be the one going to his rescue anyway. Yeah, that's probably right. 
this way, if anything is bothering the ship, all of us will get to know no matter where we're at, which is probably a better choice, don't you think? <laughs> Kashar blew up the <laughs> ship again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I better get Phil's in some mending, huh? Probably. Probably be smart. So, how are our dwarf boys doing? Yeah, let's get this. Uh... Uh, they have eaten every bit of food that Mushari picked up. <laughs> you guys have three months worth of food, and they've put it down. Not no, we got three surprising. months worth of food for normal folk. <laughs> Dwarves <laughs> on the other hand. Yeah, we Dwarves. got three months worth of food for fifteen people. So. But not 15 dwarves. <laughs> Have 15, you seen those 30, lads? 33 starving dwarves. Mm -hmm. I imagine most of them are probably passed out down in the hole somewhere. And that's yeah. actually the worst thing they could have done would have been a gorge. Yeah, that's, that's, that is the worst. You yeah, heard, but they're dwarves. You heard what they had to do in World War II, right? It is slowly feed it back, yeah. When we found the camps, they actually had to keep them in the camps and slowly feed them to get them back. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Because they would People literally kill themselves eating. I know. I, would. I about do that on a weekly basis. Right. But actually, so... not anymore. I got one little out of game thing to brag about. I, if you guys heard of a tough mutter? Yeah. Yes. Did I tell you guys I'm doing one? No, I'm doing the 15k. Oh, dude, Aww. that's awesome! That's great, yeah. it's really fun. I only did the 5k, but it was a blast. Yeah, it's amazing. So, um, the only thing that I would say is that if there's some obstacles you don't think you can do, don't try it. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I it's it's all of the coaches now. I coach esports, but I still work out with the uh, I still do a strength training class as well. Okay. And uh, so all the coaches were, uh, were all going to go do the 15K. It's, it is incredibly fun. Uh, but so. like, like a, there's some stuff, like if you're not comfortable with climbing a rope on a... a oh, there's, we've already told each other there is no not doing it. So we're oh. all training like crazy. Which brings me to, I gave up marijuana for the first time in 13 years. <gasps> oh, man. Yeah. So no edibles, no Good nothing. Luck. Yeah. Well, thank you. And <laughs> yeah, well, man, I actually luck. was able to. Uh, I actually took a piss test today just to t see where I was at, and I'm actually now clean. Like my urine's clean. It's kind of crazy. Wow, but, nice, dude. Congrats. Yeah, Congrats. yeah. It's my dedicate. I said, I was like, this is my dedication to this guys. I'm like, because they know I smoke. And I was like, I'm serious, and you guys gonna be serious. And they're like, okay. And I was like, here's my proof. Nice. Are incredible. So we're gonna go hard. Uh, but anyways, if you uh, enjoy it. Yeah. Try the Spartan race because it's essentially the same thing. It's just uh, more fire. Okay. Sounds good. So you guys have a boat full of no longer hungry hungry dwarves. <laughs> you have uh, a storm mage. Uh, Shago's up in the in the crow's nest. Musharib at the wheel. And you've got your friends slash family here on the boat with you. Uh, what was the I name think... of the dwarf we were... Not, not oh, the Spore, bar. the other one. Steven. Was it Steven? Stephen? Nice. But I think Musharib needs a seat at the table because these were his people. I, yeah, absolutely. Did you want to be seeming as your your own self or did you not um actually we're we're going to take care of that at some point but um not not right now it depends it it lyra if you're thinking of what i'm thinking you are it's not a guarantee i know it's not a guarantee but it needs... there's more things that can happen to you that are worse than changing you back well but i've got i've got it could you. just kill you I've got yeah, you, I've got Kishar, right I've yeah. got Theseus. I, I'm, if I'm not it kills really... you, there's nothing we can do. Well, well. That's what restoration is for. It's a nice little tidy up. Wait, is it restoration or is it the... Uh, uh, what is it? It's, a, it's like one of the lower level ones. It doesn't cost anything, but you have to be there within like a minute. 
Or like you have to be there like uh, on that round. He's got he's got that thing that can drop me that if I drop down to zero and it will bring me back up to one. Uh that's that's if you drop to zero and that doesn't just kill you. I well those that's are two true. different things. Those are two different yeah. I was at the outside talk, the DM did tell me that nothing can kill me outright. Okay. <laughs> are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure. You remember, okay. he enjoys laughing. <laughs> I know he does. Um, yeah, so just it depends on what it is, but um, a couple things can negate the. Uh, it's not called false life. It's I know I know what the spell you're talking about. There's a couple things that can just bypass that. And so just pretty- because it makes you a boy again doesn't mean it's going to make you the boy that you were. Well, I mean, it it goes to show like reason, like if you know. If it went one way, we're it'll talking about the same way. crack here and his magic. Yeah, but like at the same time, like you know, like why bother spending a lot of the time? Like, oh, let's like roll the dice and see, like, oh, if they're trying to change back, it'll be someone different. Wait, no, he would do that. That's fair. Yes, he would. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, it's Theseus. a squirrel. <laughs> Theseus, Theseus steps up and takes a look at you, and he just looks your head down. And he goes. Well, we haven't tried this when you haven't had anything else wrong with you. Let's give it a shot. Oh, like greater restoration is what we're still trying to do? Ah. One Kurt. Ooh. If this is this, pass. Wait, 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 wait. Where's, where is score? Down below. So we need... Um, what well, is in front of him? Uh, I don't guess I have to do it in front of him, do I? No. If, if you if you want him to be up here, you can call him up here. It would pro it would it would probably help. All right, give me a second. He just kind of feebly walked. Walks up the steps. He's like, "Yeah, you wanted to see me." Um. Yeah. Just. Um, I'm glad you guys made it back to the boat. Okay, but uh, we we need to take care of something real quick. Oh, bye, Iwick. <laughs> he just floated <laughs> off to the freaking. <laughs> okay. Uh, we need to need to take care of a little something real quick. And gods, I hope this is going to work. Okay, Theseus. All right, he kind of wiggles his fingers and kind of smacks you in the face, touches the top of your head to your toes. <laughs> Breaks your leg again. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> the boat's moving. <laughs> He's swimming after us. <laughs> Guys, I found a hat. <laughs> Guys. And Bjorn appears. There is no more Lyra. Oh, God, you're so old. I'm not that old. Oh. Yeah, still ugly, though. Hey, I'm still ugly. Still, still prettier than Kasha, though. I see a Kasha, like one tear. I don't tier, know. He has like, the sparkles. You, you have like one tear, like like no more jugs. Yeah, I'm sitting there. <laughs> I'm I'm sitting there like patting my chest, and all I feel is a beard, and I tail I tug on my beard a little bit, and I'm like, ah, you know, hey. And, uh, and I, your I, pants are about two sizes too tight. <laughs> <laughs> it's ma- It's the magic magic dwarven armor, so that'll it's change like, with me. It's like it's like uh oh fuck. Like damn, Bjorn! Okay. I didn't know you were caked. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So Bjorn is Lyra is now turned back into Bjorn, and Score looks over. He's like, B- B- Bjorn, hey, my boy, hey, hey. And that's where we're going to end tonight, folks. <laughs> <laughs> boy, boy. <laughs> <laughs> What cat? Boys, girls, oh, and man. other animals. I hope you oh. had a good night tonight.
Couldn't have run back to the casino. So much information. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, there's... I filled up. I filled up two pages in my notebook of stuff. Good, good. Means you're paying attention. Clearly, no, no, you that does not mean I was paying attention. That's the whole reason I wrote it down is because I will forget <laughs> all of this shit. No, TLDR, we go kill the bitch at the fort. We have scrolls to find. Apparently, they're the source of infinite knowledge. Uh, Ziggin, the nicest lich known to man with his little cats and dogs. Uh, and fuck David. That's, that's all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Phil's in Gilligan hat. Oh man, is he gonna? Okay, he's gonna have a Gilligan hat. I need to write that down. <laughs> <laughs> it's now a thing. Also, now, so now that I know my he's got family's the okay. hat, and he's got the Gilligan's hat. So maybe he'll be like bipolar and just like, or multiple personalities. He'll just like switch back and forth, but from being like an astute leader of a ship to like just being a complete really puffle bum died and then uh well, he would have to be because he was a sorcerer that has become a wizard hmm? <laughs> he said storm sorcerer which jump out no oh, he's just a dual personality wizard storm there we wizard. Go. <laughs> so he's you got know, one personality is the wizard and one personality is the sorcerer. And he changes hat to decide what that'd be that. fun. I love it. Let's do it. He's multi class, six six in a sorcerer, six in a wizard. But can't cross class his spells. Like they don't crisscross. Oh yeah. He's, yeah, he's, he's not he's, a twelfth level caster. He's either six wizard or the other times he's six sorcerer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Let me Depending on what hat he wears. That has to be the thing. Okay. A man of many hats, and every time you guys give him a new hat, he has a new role. <laughs> he has a new God, personality. But, but for now on, the hats can only come from Zeke. So <laughs> he has the skipper hat and the Gilligan's hat, but the rest of the hats can only be bestowed upon him by Zeke, which will then give him another personality, if you will. Every town. From now he should, on. He Why, did have the bard the power? Why did you give the bard the power to make someone else a bard? <laughs> You know, we just kind of made that uh, that noble like absolutely fucking worthless now because now we know exactly what happened to the family. So, well, we weren't going back for him anyways. Yeah, I don't no, no, we have to go back just to piss off David. Oh, I'm up for. Oh, it. hey, David, how are you doing, buddy? Hey, we're going to need to leave right noble. now. We're here to buy that noble. I don't think you can tell us no. You're not the one in charge. It's like, yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like I need you guys well, we to leave. Can. Ah, you're he, not in he charge. can set the price to where we can't buy it. Right. True. True. Oh, but your logbook says we did buy him. Oh, fuck! Why didn't we do that? No! <laughs> <laughs> we literally could have made receipts for everything. We guys, we could have just freed the whole fucking slave market. Oh, David! David, <laughs> run! <laughs> you see him just like taking off like Roadrunner when he sees you guys just oh, start geez, spinning you and you can't gone. run fast enough with those little legs. He doesn't have to. He knows what'll happen again. And then we'll have to go back to Zig Ziggin again. Oh, hey, Ziggin. We got rid of that uh, slave market you were talking about. <laughs> I was going to say, Ziggin might not be happy to see us twice in a day. Right. Oh, there's our David. Oh, and there's his little buddy. <laughs> Bob and David. The picture of David and Bob. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so are we actually going to clean up the slave trade like that, or are we focus on Flaming Fist? That's actually a great question. What are we doing next session, ladies and gentlemen? So once we figure out where the dwarves That's are, kind of what I was hoping to know. <laughs> yeah, depending on like where we get them settled. Let's say let's say we take it last the next session. Uh, we'll, we'll spend next session doing the doors, and then we'll figure it out. Right. In the off chance that we actually, all right. So looking farther than that. So goal one is dwarves. What's goal two? We're a squirrel. You know that that's what happens is somebody will go squirrel, and we'll go running off in another direction. <laughs> so, so are you wanting to find the dwarves a new home? Is that your goal right now? We we need to talk with them and figure out what they want to do. Yeah, I mean, because it could, okay. uh, because depending on you said there were thirty three, right? Yeah. yeah. 
Um, because I have three, three of them were going to stay and help as guards. Right, right. right. Larry so and in Cash Bar over here, they'll we can, stay up with you guys. You if should we can get three more to stay and learn how to be a ship hand. It would great. Guys, great. let's go back to Omu. So you're down to twenty seven. So I don't know because obviously we haven't talked in game, but uh, I don't know what score is probably going to want to do now that he knows that I'm still alive. So yeah, that's going to be a whole thing. Mushari yeah. does let you guys know, like he didn't know that Rockhammer got taken over by the by the fist and captured all their people. Tell you guys Just out on the boat and told him right. Um, so he'll always want to reclaim. Like that is his. The gauntlet, everything. He's always wanted to retake Rock. Well, Musharib, what uh, what can you pay us this time? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I work for you guys now. Know where another airship is, so we can get Kashar <laughs> to quit whining. <laughs> Don't make. We will go back in that goddamn forest, and we will put these doors to fucking work, so we can get that thing up and running. Run into a zombie gorillion or two. I could care less. Non factor. <laughs> I say now non you guys. Factor, yeah. Non issue. It, it is not a matter of if only if the DM allows. <laughs> if the DM will put up with the cheese. If we can find have... a sh ship like this or figure out how to make this ship fly, that ought to be our goal, Kashar. Because this one's so easy to control and such a small crew. If we could figure out how to make it fly. Do you want to know the Do you want to know the really shitty answer about uh, ship rigging? You can technically rig any ship to where it's like two people can do it. You can do any modern ship. You can no. You, you ah. want to do an old galleon that way? I mean, if you have the right knowledge, you could. But I can you see have to the be point. knowledgeable. Yeah, you have That's to, the you have to know what you're is, going to do. You just it. need three people who got a sim I need to do. Yeah. But um, but no, that that might be the easiest way. It would be to just find somebody who knows how to make them and be like, "Yo, make it, make this fucking thing fly." Um, I, I mean, wonder hey, if any of the crew from that one survived, or they all die. Right, the airship. Yeah. One of them survived. I think you guys saved. That's what I think. That's who you sent. If we could find that Matt. person, that person might be able to help. Wait, wait, wait. If, if the ship crashed here, was it built here? No. No. Was no, it built at Eberron? That um, person, that's a different plane. That Ladies person and would know we how have it a, have a destination. <laughs> no, that person would know how it worked and what was what was required to make it work, though. If we can talk to that person and get them on board this vessel, it might take some time. Right, be like, oh, hey, yeah, no, I know we need like this component. I don't know how you would fix it to the ship, but I know you need that, right? Yeah, and start that way. And if that person did go to the the main port, let's see if we can find them, since we had to get food for the doors anyway. Right. Yeah. Okay. So hire them on as as crew, but as their part of the crew is to figure out how to adapt this ship into what they had right and okay, make so it a little more durable while we're at it right don't need any more friggin birds <laughs> we need actually we might, we might tap into uh uh dwarf see if we can get like at least a arcane cannon yeah we need something to ward off things from... like don't get me wrong uh like a control water spell will just decimate at range like if they're chasing us like thesis can just capsize the ship behind us um and with a lot of our spells that we have if they do get within 60 it's kind of game over for us or them it depends on who has more counter spells um well it's not 60 we're talking about if they get within 400 then we're lighting them up right so yeah at that at that point yeah that's why i would like to yeah would be nice or just a normal cannon just something Preferably two, maybe three, four. One front, one back, left, right. Well, the maybe way this ship the is set probably. up, I would say you could easily get by with front and rear. Right, yeah. Just the way the decks are laid out, but it gets more complicated after we should, that. We should fire Bjorn out of a cannon. 
Yeah. <laughs> but that I think that ought to be a goal is to see if we can find that person in port. Okay. So I know I definitely want to go back to the casino to cash in on that uh, the guessing reward. I want to see what that what that platinum shit has. Um. Well, if you want, we can take enough coins to get you in and. Oh no no! With the we had a guessing thing in Discord. Oh, that's right. Um. So if we're gonna, cause, so I'm hearing a lot of side quests. Do we want to just side quest it out, like I after the dwarves? I say we find that person because it's going to take a long time and that oh, yeah. person can also help with any repairs on the ship or upgrades to this one uh, the other downtime the, question mark well it'll be downtime when we're not on the ship so uh the other thing is since you guys did win that and can send a person in see what we can get what the wise, store is before we leave this town right I would rather spend every electrum piece we have before we leave to give us an up, uh, uh, you know, a better chance. Right. Okay. So, are we going to take care of the slave trade, and are we going to take care of the flaming fest? Well, I figured that both of those would be taken care of at the same time if we take out the. But I really want to hit David in the face. Well, we can come back here and hit David in the face. Okay. If we can take out the flaming fist. And actually do away not only with their group at the port northeast of here, but do away with the two camps on the river and do away with the port on the west coast. Mm -hmm. That would be a big deal. And then Brig and Diarth can take over the port on the west coast. Well, so Diarth said that they were going to go raid that port on the west. Right. right. Yeah. So but, I guess what we could always do is maybe hit the fort and then wait to see if Diarth comes back because we know where they they took in. They took it with Bob, right? I believe his name. Oh God, how many Bobs are there in this city? <laughs> That's the fun <laughs> part. Yep. Right. Oh, hey, I'm Bob. That's my brother, Bob. They like wear like slightly different hats and like they all talk. Right like, oh, and what was the name of your weapon? Bob. Which one? Bob. Yeah. Oh my God! There's the Bob twins in every city we meet, it's... and they all have different jobs. Like one guy's the dock master. One guy's like a tailor, with like a carpenter. It's just a thing. There, okay. There is something to the bobs. Just right. All right. So, yeah. So, Bregan to Earth, we'll get a report back from them to see if they were able to take the port or not. Uh, the camps. I don't think they were actually that big. Pretty sure they were like twenty tents at most. They were pretty tiny. Um. Though they could have easily doubled by the time we've been fucking around, so. So if we get a list up for uh, dyslexies being one being what magic items they have since they're going to go into the platinum area. Yep, I can do that. And that way, if we know early in the week we can spend the money or whatever, and that doesn't take us out of time yeah. next week. I'll set you guys up a merchant. Uh, I'll put them right happily, here on the wave dancer. I will you happily run from. off into that casino right now. And then the other thing would be, what are our options looking? for where to put the dwarves? Where does Musharib think, you know, we know that Rock Hammer's been compromised, but until we deal with the big, big fort, I don't know that we can, would help to deal with, because they have groups just combing the island looking for slaves. But we, these guys would be, these guys would be safe from, uh, those, those, our guys should be safe from slavery though, because technically, even though it's not a great thing, we own them. So if we put them into a mine that we own, that we also own, then that's all property and yeah. it's all we covered don't have by anything from the flaming fist. Say we own any mine in this land. Oh, and I, th it, I thought Kashar said we owned a mine. No, uh, we own we it in the sense over. of that we dominated everyone who was there. So we have uh, nothing that says we own property in this world. 
if we want to check, we can always check the proper thing. Like, hey, you want to own this? Nobody owns this. Don't mind if we do. We'd like to buy that. However, you know, Flaming Fist have already went through Hot Camera. I'm sure they've claimed it. I mean, a claim is one thing. Holding it is an entirely different story. Given what is in that mine, that, that might be a pretty big contingent there holding it. You you would hope so. It's also really expensive to run that many troops through a jungle and keep them keep them fed, unless they have like a uh, like farms and shit set up. You know what I mean? Like it gets expensive. <laughs> All right. We'll have to go through the coin exchange. <laughs> <laughs> or go buy a bunch of gems. Uh, anyway. I will find you in Michigan. Just like you. <laughs> so help me God. <laughs> <laughs> Only take the platinum coins and give change and only not. That's well, it could be worse. It could be I'll get change only in copper. <laughs> I don't. I don't mind. I'm already there. I'm already there. I'm already there. I'll. I will book a flight right now. <laughs> All right. Let me look up flights. Where were you at? Okay. Street View. Right, scroll out. Scroll and scroll. scroll, ain't scroll. Nothing oh there. my God! You're in the middle of fucking nowhere. Like I said, the ain't yep. nothing there. <laughs> Jesus fuck. It's like going to the backwoods in Tennessee or Kentucky. You get in Is there, there and you don't Lansing come out. or do I have to fly in, into Detroit? Uh, either Lansing or Flint. Ah, uh, but Flint has the shitty water. So do we. Ours is actually oh. worse, and I'm not oh, joking. Oh, man. They actually gave us a letter in our mail saying it's worse, and sorry, there's nothing we're going to do about it. You should probably change the pipes in your own home. And, um... Ugh. Well, that ain't going to help filters. if they don't change the pipes coming in. Right. I know, but that's what they told us. And we've got a really, <laughs> really dumb population because they've been raised on meth and lead. So, <laughs> so that letter was suffice enough for them. Fair I, enough, fair enough. Hannah and I use a Berkey filter. Like, if you don't have a Berkey filter, you're not living Oh, they're right. so good. I love them. They're so good. Takes out radiation out of water. There's actually a town in Georgia they cannot use the water supply because the groundwater is radioactive. Naturally radioactive. That's wild. They're actually they were having a treatment system built by Israel to pull the radioactivity out of the water. Crazy. Joke's on me. Just like he just sent his neighbor's fucking address. <laughs> <laughs> I just figured it's a place you can send Christmas gifts and, you know, death threats. It's all the same. <laughs> hey, man, there's a company that uh, it's called Eat a Dick, and they send out chocolate dicks. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. I'm a big fan of the anonymous poop ones. I have <laughs> used that service before, and it was incredible. <laughs> oh, they're fantastic. Guy I worked with at where I work, he sent his new mother-in-law a box of them. <laughs> And it had they pop out <laughs> and it with the glitter bomb. I love it. Okay, so our three things for now is dwarf home, airship, ship rate, casino escapades. What else are we doing? We, we gotta find that person. We need that person for the ship. Yeah, yeah, the yeah airship, that's number ship two. Rate. Yeah, it's number two. So it would require either Kashar or I, because we're probably the the only ones that would recognize the person. So Kashar is going to the VIP. I should be able to, I guess, go to the Zentarum. Uh, probably the original lady we dealt with when we first got there. Right. Oh, hey, we're looking for a guy who came to the jungle, you know, maybe like a month ago. Uh, would like have been the... Two or three months ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, because we came back before we actually... Right, yeah. The person is so fucking gone. <laughs> not necessarily. Hopefully not. Um, but I'll, I'll try to find that person. Kashar will do the VIP. Uh, he can take Lyra. I'll take Zeke. Oh my god, there's just strippers everywhere. <laughs> I want to go with Kashar. 
That's why I said Bashar <laughs> will take Lyra. <laughs> I know it's Bjorn. You always sit. confuse me. You change your name like all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, this is it's gonna be very difficult with all this. Right. I'm <laughs> gonna re, re, re fucking a tune back to Bjorn, not Lyra. Just, just when you guys were school, getting uh, just when you guys were getting comfortable with calling her Lyra. <laughs> back again. Right. It's gonna be it's gonna be hey you, Dorf. You Dorf. <laughs> Dorf no chance. Got, and I've still got I've still got tons of that water left. Please don't. <laughs> Give it to all your Dorvan friends. <laughs> but it, the, apparently, the female population has been reduced, so they're going to need some. <laughs> okay. I'm offering a once a big deal. What a, what a horrible thing that would be. Like, population, female population is gone. The, you're forced to drink this water, and now you're forced to give birth. And then, <laughs> oh my god, what if you literally... Okay, so right, the words can go dystop- hella dystopian right now, right? So what if you have an all-male population, but you have to serve time as a female to help keep the population... <laughs> oh the my brain? god. So It's like the... It's- the mandatory lotto. military service. It's like mandatory <laughs> military service, but it's mandatory, uh, like, yeah. Oh my god. Maternity, maternity service. Maternity service. Oh, no. Maternity yeah. service. Maternity service. I think this is a new hierarchy for a civilization i like this this is a good idea we should oh we should capitalize gosh. on this <laughs> little world peace is achieved because there's no uh there's so instead, no of, milita- instead of military no, service no, it's no, maternity no service. Longer conflict <laughs> there's no more comfort there's no more women conflict result. <laughs> but then here's the thing here's the thing all the every time a, ba- a, a baby's born it's always a male or you know you kind of uh spartan the females well, no, because if all you'd need is just one female to 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 stop this cycle, right? Right. That's why you uh, throw all the females off the cliff to keep all the males. <laughs> yeah, but no. why would you want that? Because you want to maintain the status quo for the power structure, so no, you make sure to make. There's, there's no reason for that, because genetically, it it does make perfect sense. You just make them drink the water. Boom! Now they're males. <laughs> Right, you put it in their baby bottle. <laughs> <laughs> keep, keep drinking this until we get our results. <laughs> either, yeah, it either kills them or it turns them. Or you're, you're yeah, it's a win. It's, it's a win. A win. Something slash evil civilization. It's yeah. a lawful well, you, it evil. It is Kashar pitching this no, idea. No, no, no. Guys. Going in that direction, <laughs> making the the, uh, the female babies drink the water would would that or would not or would that not give them like a health benefit? By having extra hormones to make them grow faster or larger, uh, I think it would just flip them over. Yeah, it's a. I think it's a coin. I think it uh, flips you one I way think, or the yeah, other. It, it's, there's no shared. I think it just flips you. Oh, then there's no health benefit. No, no. It is a curse, after all. Oh my god! Yeah. Clo- you could like cut down on clothes because you only make one type of clothes. Like really. Yeah, I mean, the it's female doors, clothes. They only make one type of clothes anyway. That's fair. And, oh my god, guys, you wouldn't have to worry about, like, misgendering a dwarf because they're all guys. <laughs> <laughs> that really puts into perspective the line from uh, Two Towers where Gimli's like, no one's ever seen a, a female's <laughs> dwarf. They think we just pop out of holes in the ground. <laughs> it's like, oh, is that your, is that your like son or something? I was like, that's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, well, who's that standing bef- behind you? That's my father, mother. <laughs> uh, yeah, we could go, we could go like Brave New World on this shit. Like, uh... it'd be like, uh... damn, I forgot where I was going with it. Never mind. <laughs> just like he's just we, slowly breaking down. He's like, "Oh fuck, these uh, guys like, are gonna make an island." We, we've of... kept him till his brains went dead. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, an hour so ago, but... so kind of re- reel us back into onto topic. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll put that aside. So, is there anything else besides dwarf home, airship, casino <laughs> escapades? I mean, the casino is more to see what we can buy, and we do have money to buy it. I still have a right. tally. So, yeah, my deal is get my armor up some. So, but there could be other things. Right. Um, 
so that'll be okay. So I imagine like I give it like an hour, depending on what the dwarves actually need. Like if it's just a quick teleport, like that could very well just that'd be really easy. Well, that's um, why I was that's why I was thinking the cave that we went to is because it's... yeah, most likely. I mean, most likely they're gonna go there anyways, regardless of what we pick, because that's just the fastest way to get the fuck away from here. And then yeah. from there they can go where they need to go. But that's still near a base. No, that's just them going there. They can always just fuck off. Um, I imagine at the moment of teleportation, they're going to be fucking with, or the pirates will be fresh in their minds. So I, I'm 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 willing to bet that Brigand the Earth has already taken care of those pirates. I bet I'll bet. In fact, they have. in fact, we can find out. We've got Habershanks. Uh, sending stone, and now we have unlocked sending stones. No, we have walkie talkies between ourselves, not unlocked ones. Mm, but he but I number. do have the spell sending now, so uh, bu- 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 let me just double check. Uh, Mr. DM man, what would you consider the words creature with which you are familiar? You, you know him well enough. Cool. Is it is it like? It wouldn't be like a uh, passing in a crowd, but like, oh, hey, my name is, you know, Kashar. Well, what's your name? Yeah, cool. I think you would need to know, like, yeah, you know, you need to have a little bit more knowledge about them than Death Note. But um, gotcha. But like a, a maybe like a short five minute conversation with the person should be like enough. Yeah. OK. Because that way you're you're familiar enough with them to recognize them, know a little bit about them. OK, cool. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we could always just use something and see like what what what, what the yeah, thing what's, was. Yeah, what's going on with that, right. and if they won, and if they've taken care of the pirates. Right. You know, a thought does cross my mind. Technically, you guys can go through, and then I can always open the portal back up. Because as long as I don't go through that portal, we can always return. Because I can just technically, if I'm on the boat, reopen up another circle portal opens you guys can come I mean, back with the one in the mines we don't even really need to go through oh, no, we just we, need no, to send the dwarves we don't i'm just saying if we need to go i through think it. we ought to go through just to make sure it's still clear yeah because all you don't need is to drop them into the middle of something i mean we could always just throw uh Nihisa down that portal <laughs> yeah because i have unlimited yeah. range Right, and then I close the portal. You know, you let me know if I can open it up again. And then, oh, cool, we're in the clear. And then, all right, everyone, go, 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 go. And then, yeah. That actually sounds like probably the better idea is sending Nahissa ahead. They already yeah. know her. Right. Right. And then once once we have everyone through, you know, Nahissa comes back through, portal's closed, mm-hmm. and uh, they're on their own. Yeah, that seems like a pretty solid plan. Um, You're going to need a lot of food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll send them on with their way with a plane, plenty I mean, of rations. We can, and then... we can send them along their way with with enough food to for you know a few weeks worth of food. But then they can like, it's like you yeah. said. I mean, they they are you know they're dwarves. They get most of they their food. They can manage you know. their own. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they, they can manage their own. They've been on island for generations. They just need a, a little boost up. Yeah, they just yeah. need something to keep them alive for a few weeks. Well, we're also gonna have to buy gear. Hmm. Mm. But that's like commoner gear. That's like, again, they're dwarves. Mining. You can, yeah, mining pickaxes and stuff. Unless we sent them to if that you send other them rock hammer, then yeah. all the stuff's there. Yeah, yeah. If they if they if they go to that mine, send and them to they Wormheart, make them... some stuff will still be there. Also, we'll have to go, or they'll they'll they're gonna have to just you know leg it this way and then come down. Hey, look, it's a funny looking Whoa, goblin. It's Mar. Oh my <laughs> goodness, it's Mar! Who's I think. muted? His, yeah. His <laughs> overlords have set him free. Um, but yeah, no, I think I think honestly the best we can do is just give him a, a leg up and then they're off to be on their own. Mm-hmm. Hey, you know, if we really want equipment, uh, you know, there's always that... Uh, that shield guardian that's hanging out in the middle of the fucking jungle. The what? Yeah, there's a shield guardian hanging out in the jungle. Yeah, we have. I I could I could probably give a good guess on where the fucking amulet for it is. Gauntlet. I think it's is a it, gauntlet. Is it, is it a gauntlet? I thought it was an amulet. No, it's a gauntlet. 
It's a gauntlet? Okay. Get a that, good idea. So then that's what Musharib's got? Nah. Nah, it's uh, way before. Cause no, no, because the the show guardian was in here somewhere. Uh, but this Yeliarch, this is a... Was it a Goblin Village? Yep. Yeah, so I'll bet... I'll bet, like... I'll bet all my gold to, to Electrum. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm, like, I'm moving it just it. because you said that. I'm like, bet, deal, That's not allowed. and then I replace it. <laughs> no, I'll 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 wedge wage heavily that most likely they have the uh, the thing that would need. So if we actually want a shield guardian, I would I'll bet money that uh, that's where that towards that. That shield guardian was, um, Mark had a character already made up, but after after Reynold died, the first time, mm-hmm. um, I was actually going to ha- let him possess that shield guardian, but he oh, wow. up with a what he came up with. Uh, Oh, were you thinking like Warforged? No, I was going to let him play the Shield Guardian and just oh, imbue him with yeah. a spirit and then level him up throughout hell the course yeah. with just upgrades. So kind of like a, a Warforged, but like Warforged, like Artificer. I like it. But yeah, so if we want a Shield Guardian, that's where we go get one. Um, we're keeping dyslexies up late. No, no, no. It's only no, no. This is. Well, you tried quitting thirty minutes ago. No, he was just, just in so the we, game, actually, because so I was. It was a good stopping point, and that's so I could kind of figure out like where we're going next, so I know what to prep. Because yeah. there's like four hundred leads that you guys have now, and I need <laughs> to be prepared for at least seven hundred of them. So yeah, that's if another you thing have we can that always... gear list already. You can throw it out to the fish, and we'll peruse it. Yeah, but I actually want to see what's in the casino though. Like, is there like what kind of cool? It's probably like it's probably like a little five by five room. Like, welcome to Platinum. It's like a little confetti cans. So that's it. <laughs> There's one that's, you're not sorry, Kashar, but you're not too far off. Yep, that's what I figured. <laughs> yeah. There's one it's poker table. The gate, it's the gatekeep to like, yeah. There, you Nishra, keep on going. You're, there's one high stakes table where you can bet stupid amounts of money. Um, there's one like, roulette table where you can bet stupid amounts of money, mm-hmm. and then there's a just a little small little bar because like no one's ever up. Nobody here. goes there. Yeah, there's no. And then yeah. and then and then the Zentarium's uh, entire market is up there, so all their quality goods are up there. So it's so like, like holy fuck, someone bought their way up here. Holy. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly that. like oh, all right. Well, you obviously have enough money to come up and spend money up here. Gotcha. So uh, I will have to go up there, and it's going to be like, hey, I want a prize to get up here. I don't actually have any money. <laughs> Yeah, if he doesn't have any money with him, it's like, Don't uh, tell them too bad, that. so sad. Like, of course. Wouldn't it, wouldn't but you do know, but you've already been told by BB. Then? Say that again? Wouldn't it be a better idea to send Theseus since he's a champion and he's famous? Like they wouldn't. They oh, wouldn't it doesn't really he... matter to them. No, yeah, um, they, but they wouldn't question that he's there. They would question Kashar being there. Not if yeah. he has a ticket. Yeah, it's like not well, if he's got the, the VIP arm band, pass. I won't and, question. Uh, yeah, and you guys already, BB already told you that upstairs in the VIP is where you get like the the good goods. The good good, yeah. Okay, so do we want to add the shield guardian onto the uh, the list? Yeah, we can. It's not that quick or easy to get to. No, it's can. not. It's it could also be something to. Ease Musharib's uh, melee problem. I mean, not to interject too much, but like you could take the river down, yeah. Stop at Yell Yark, wipe out Camp up. Righteous, yeah. Eh, wipe out Camp Vengeance, backtrack a little to Vjorn, and then that's but a lot of traveling. Don't we know where the um the little uh? What do they call it? A whirlpool is to jump mm, back. So you need a magic boat. Boy, do I have a person flaming, for that? Yeah, you need a flaming <laughs> fist special boat for that. So what you're saying is, David, oh David, our dearest friend, David. <laughs> <laughs> we take his boat. Oh boy, and I think that will be my cue. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, I'm going to add a step four called Remember, Take David's Boat. <laughs> no, because we can't get in trouble again. I don't know what you're good behavior. I don't know what you're talking about, man. The boat went out one more time for slaves from entirely different people with a weirdly same party size, and uh, the boat should never get back. I did. did. Guys, Inception. Though I suppose he would be like, oh, well, there's nothing fucking out there, so why do you need my boat? So, yeah, that's probably better. Uh, I'll figure it out. I'm sure we can persuade David to uh, lend, him, lend us his boat. If anyone's going to figure it out, it's Kashar. He's going to figure out the cheese. Of course. I'm sure we can persuade thoroughly uh, to you know, have David let us uh, out on a pleasure cruise. <laughs> That's fine. Now nah, we can always, yeah. I think uh, this looks probably right. We need to just, yeah. It'll be a couple weeks, but I think doing things right here. Are any of the dragons not aligned with Tiamat? Probably not. Nope. It, Everyone, none of the chromatic. There, if there are, they're in deep hiding. Yeah, yeah, we need we need to find a metallic. Yeah, if they, if they are, they are fucking hidden as shit. They yeah, they probably grabbed their grabbed their layer shit and fucked off. Like they are. Yeah. Yeah, they probably just didn't even grab their layer stuff. They probably just. Yeah, they're like, oh fuck me, and they're yeah. Okay. So uh, I will get the uh, ma magic item menu up uh, in Discord this week, and uh, that's all I'll need to do aside from prepping for the chaos next week. <laughs> no, cheese and Quakers because oatmeal. Oh, yep, even better. Well. As as always, Dyslexies, thank you so much for dealing with our Quakers hey, and I hope you guys had a great time. <laughs> you, I, I had a blast. I had a wonderful time. I hope you guys did too. Always do. The question and, uh, will be for him as he's thinking through all this all week. How are they going to turn this on their ear? I was like, I was like how is this going to go wrong? <laughs> we have spent the last 30 some odd minutes making sure we we uh have a plan for next week. I kind of know what you guys are going to be doing so I can prep accordingly. And I just need to know whether I'm going to rip this leather bound book in half That's what or just think. rip out four or five sheets. Well, I don't, hey man, we can always circle back to that dope book. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what, yeah, that's why I joke. I was like, I don't throw them away just cause like I still have my several, hey guys, several spirals for tomb. <laughs> well, let's go into annihilation. Let's go play around that demi plane that he had where you walk around the circle and you're in a whole nother tomb of annihilation. Guys, and we forgot Char. one of the gods. <laughs> Char, there is one priest we knew at one of the two camps. Pretty sure we're pretty friendly with vengeance. Because Theseus. Yeah, there's one one camp we left the priestess at. I would be interested Vengeance. to see what her opinion of the slave trade is. Yeah, I, I believe it was Vengeance because that's where we did the most good at. Because that might give us somebody we can put. Right. Some, you know. Yeah, it was the southern, southernmost one. It's the one yeah, with the, the crackhead for a leader. Yep, exactly. Yep. Vengeance. Where the people are afraid of the leader, so that might be a good place to start. Yep. And you guys sent back people with the uh, like the skulls and stuff like that, so they could go back as like heroes, kind of deal, right. in good favor. So you guys, you guys might have a friend or two there. Yeah, so vengeance might probably be less of an issue. We might um, be able to get certain people there to promote to other positions that come open, right? Accidentally. Oh no, he fell down some...